your life. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's event. Thank you so much for joining us today. For those who don't know, hi, I'm Jocelyn Yadiam. I am one of the Dog Aging Project Project Managers, and I am so excited to be joining you today and hosting today's event. But before we get into it, we have a few announcements. So really quick shout out to our team. Today with me um, is Susan, who's behind the scenes producing today's event. Sen Sally is also with us today. She'll be monitoring the chat box. And then Harmony will be joining us later for the main event. So stay tuned. And quick announcement. So we are live. So if you have any questions today, do not worry. You can put them in the chat box. Also, whatever we don't answer in the chat box or answer live, we will answer at the dog park. So speaking of the dog park, make sure to head over to the dog park and, and enter in our pack event giveaway. So the only way to do that is leave a comment or a question and you'll be entered in our pack event giveaway. So make sure to go do so. We have some awesome swag for you. Also, for those who don't know, Dog Park is our online community forum exclusively for PAC members. So if you're not already a PAC member, it's not too late. You can sign up today and we're going to teach you how to do that by going over our website today. Also, for any reason, if you miss any today's event, it's okay. Today's event will be recorded and it's going to remain on our YouTube channel. So you can watch it, come back to this our channel and watch this video anytime you like. Now, without further ado, let's get into our website. So today's event is our pack event. We'll be giving you a tour of our brand new shiny website. So joining me today is Harmony Dears. She's our par participant study manager, and uh, she helps us a lot with communication. She's been another pack event, so you may have seen her face before. But joining joining us today is Harmony. So welcome, Harmony, and take it away. Thank you, everybody, for joining us today. We are so happy to be able to share and unveil our brand new Dog Aging Project website with you today. It has been months and months in the making, and we thank you for being here today to get a, a quick overview of what you'll find when you go on to dogagingproject.org. A quick note, we have a bit of a slow internet issue today. Um, unfortunate timing, but we're going to make it work and we'll, we're going to proceed on um, as usual here. So if there's a bit of a delay, please forgive us for that. I'm sharing my screen. This is the home page of our brand new Dog Aging Project website. Um, you will see um, lots of great information that we're going to go over. And for existing PAC members, a lot of what I'm going to quickly review is already going to be news to you because you are veterans and you know the way that it works around here. But there's going to be great information to share with new dog owners that are interested in joining the PAC. And as a reminder, we're always enrolling. There's no limit to the number of dogs that can join the Dog Aging Project PAC. And we depend on all of you so much. So thank you for being here. So from our home screen, I just needed to give a quick announcement about this beautiful hero dog, as we call her in the, on the right side of your screen. This is Caterpillar. And we had a lot of fun finding the right dog to be the representative face of the Dog Aging Project. In fact, over the summer, Jocelyn, Susan, and I took a fun day and joined our local Aggieland Humane Society. We met several dogs in searching for the right dog to represent us, and we have chosen Caterpillar. Caterpillar was a great girl, very fun to work with, as they all were, but she just had something about, um, she just had that star quality that we had to go with, and our team voted, and it's Caterpillar that you're seeing here. And she went on to be adopted to her forever home, shortly after this. So Caterpillar's living her best life, just like all of the dogs that are in our project, living their best lives at home. So to get started here, in the upper right corner of your screen, you're going to see your portal login. As a reminder, your portal is where you go to find information that we're sending you about surveys that are coming up that we would love for you to participate in, 
as well as an invitation to do some of our fun um, dog and owner activities, such as the one, two, three treat and the treat hide and seek that we um, released this year. Thank you all for um, of those of you who were able to participate in those. That's amazing data for us. Um, your portal login is going to be an individual login. As we go over here to the dog park, your dog park, if you are a member of the dog, um, dog park, you will have a different login from your portal. You can also access this dog park button to join the dog park, and that is where you will go. Scrolling finally here to the right is an enroll your dog button. And this is, uh, we have many of these throughout the website, and this is where new PAC members are going to go to get those nomination surveys started and join our mission, just like all of you have. So we discuss in several places the mission of the Dog Aging Project. And as you know, here at the Dog Aging Project, we care deeply about the health and happiness of our dogs. Our discoveries about healthy aging and our canine companions will translate into medical advancements for people also. We're working toward a future where dogs and their humans can live longer and stay healthier together. We update our numbers on our homepage of how many dogs we have in our pack. We're very excited to say that we have over 45,000 dogs contributing to the mission of the Dog Aging Project currently, and we hope to enroll many, many more. We invite you to partner with us. That's what all of you are doing, partnering with us as a, as a community of dogs, of owners, of veterinarians, researchers, and volunteers to carry out this very ambitious canine health study. And we invite you to share our message with your dog loving friends and family and have them join. We also have the opportunity um, for our introductory video to be played. I'm not gonna play it today. Hopefully some of you have already seen it. And if you haven't, please go onto our website and check out our introductory video. <clears throat> it's heartwarming, it's about three minutes and it gives a, a great idea of what we're all about. Moving right along, we have a special section to feature many of the dogs in our pack, and they represent a wide array of our canine friends. The young, the older, the ones in between, some with a little bit of gray, some running in the park, you know, again, living their best life. And we um, share your pack number. We update these photos on our website as often as we can. Currently, we're looking at doing it annually, but we're going to move to um, a schedule of more rapid updates as we move to the future. And we want to thank all of you who have sent us beautiful pictures of your companions. <clears throat> if they're not currently featured here, they may be in the future, and they will also definitely be featured in our pack spotlights. So everyone is a winner. <laughs> These beautiful faces, they, they make us what we are. We remind our important participants that we're doing community science and everyone involved, you are community scientists and you don't have to be an actual scientist or a doctor or even in the scientific field to be a community scientist. You're a community scientist because you contribute such important information about your dog through surveys, activities, and so on. And all of the information we receive from you is the absolute foundation of our research. So thank you for being in our community. For new visitors to the website and new potential dog pack members, we have offered a new layout of what to expect for your path in joining the Dog Aging Project because there's a few steps. We, there is the short initial enrollment survey. You then get invited to log in and set up your personal research portal. We give you 
time estimates of how long these are going to take. Then, as we know, the next survey you receive is the big one. It takes a little bit of time, and you can stop and start those health and life experience surveys. And then for those who have been in the project over a year, <coughs> pardon me, yours are called the annual follow-up surveys. <clears throat> and so on and so forth here. <clears throat> and as a reminder, once you've completed that first health and life experience survey, your dog is an official member of the pack. I'm so excited, I'm getting all choked up. <clears throat> we identify our research goals here. And our project wants to understand how all of the things that make up your dog influence aging. And those components include health, genetics, environment, <clears throat> lifestyle, cognition, and activity. I'm gonna grab a very quick sip of water, pardon me. The allergies in our area are really getting to me. So we encourage everyone to enroll your dog in this exciting project. We appreciate our community so much. We try to make it fun, engaging, and we just appreciate you so much. Another opportunity to enroll your dog here. And again, the information that we're receiving from you through all the ways that you share this information about your dog leads to research publications. So as you see, I'm scrolling through, you will have the opportunity to go onto our website and read these scientific papers. We also go one step further. Thank you, Susan, and a thank you to Amber on our team, who from these sometimes pretty in-depth and complicated research papers, they create blogs that give us a very general, easy to read overview of each of these research papers that our team publishes. And we appreciate that effort. They're a very fun read. And we encourage all of you to check out our blog section, which Jocelyn will go over shortly. So this is our home screen. <clears throat> and we're still on this first tab. And as you can see, we also offer information about like a more specific overview about our project. We talk about our relationship with the veterinary community, which is integral to our project. We'll discuss our supporters. There's a place for you to check out our team and the 100 plus people that are involved in making um, this passion and mission possible. So let's jump into a project overview very quickly here. Again, we state our mission, and I'm not going to just skim over this because this is so important to us. At the Dog Aging Project, we conduct rigorous scientific research designed to define, explain, and ameliorate the effects of aging. To achieve this mission, we have built a community of volunteers and researchers, so thank you all, united by a shared love for dogs and committed to helping dogs and humans live longer, healthier lives together. And who better to learn about this from than dogs? They are science's best friend in so many ways. Dogs share so many of the similar experiences that we do. And that's environment. They're in our houses. They're sharing our lives. Some of them are eating what we're eating. They also have access to advanced medical care the way that humans do. And we're able to learn about the aging process of a dog in a shorter amount of years than we could a human because humans frankly just live so much longer. So we can compile that information longitudinally. So year after year, we can compare the changes in the information that you share with us about your dog's aging process. And the biggest goal, if we could summarize for the Dog Aging Project, is maximizing health span. And we use that word a lot. And health span by definition, many of you may already know, but the health span is the healthy period of a dog's life before the signs of aging begin. So our goal is to extend that health span, that healthy period of life 
to keep our companions with us as long as possible. I will also mention that along with our general study, everyone in the pack is a member of the observational longitudinal study. Again, observational, we're not suggesting changes for your particular companion. We are comparing their health information, et cetera, over a number of years. So, you know, as the years go by, we can make and announce openly along the way observations that we've found um, from the way that our dogs are, are leading their lives. We're gonna make observations about what makes up the healthier, longer lived dogs. But we do also have a clinical trial in a small number of our dogs who are eligible. Um, and that is called the test of rapamycin in aging dogs. And just a, a quick overview, um, the test of rapamycin in aging dogs, it is double blind placebo control. It is a clinical trial utilizing rapamycin and also a placebo. Those um, companions are split 50-50 and we don't know who gets what. It's a top secret information. <laughs> um, and we want to discover that um, at, you know, at low doses, can rapamycin help to increase lifespan and delay or reverse aging changes? And this is the third and largest trial of rapamycin that our group has conducted to date. And I will say for those veterans of the Dog Aging Project that have been with us and are already PAC members, have completed that health and life experiences survey, and for those of you who have been able to upload um, electronic medical records, those already through those steps have been evaluated for eligibility. And a couple of the factors are that a dog needs to be over seven, they need to be over 44 pounds, and they need to be in relatively good health, not perfect health, relatively good health. So if you're already a member of the Dog Aging Project Pack and we have not reached out to you about this triad clinical trial, it probably means that there was some bit of eligibility criteria that didn't line up. But because we do need more companions to learn about the effects of rapamycin on aging, we are still enrolling. And we now have a fast track eligibility assessment that people can access. It is a quick early, sur a quick survey asking the basic information. And we are sharing um, on our website access to that rapid eligibility assessment for um, newer um, companions to join the project. We're, we're very excited about that. Moving on to some data collection information. Um, we utilize the Terra platform, and this is a proprietary research platform powered by REDCap, which is an information collecting system. And we collect a wide range of data types, including your survey data, electronic medical records, the data from those activities that you do from us, um, environmental data, biological samples in some cases, and raw data from sample processing. And an example of that is um, the DNA testing, which some smaller studies included in the pack, um, you know, that's part of the, the, the study, a, a DNA test in some cases. You'll hear me mention that we are an open science project or open data project. So that means we share anything and everything that we learn and we determine um, the, um, you know, we, we determine that as factual information, we share that information with the public, with our dog owners, with our veterinary community, with researchers. Um, you know, researchers around the world can access this data through Terra. And it's a cloud computing platform hosted by the Broad Institute of MIT and Harvard. And for those interested in accessing that data, there is a handy button here for those individuals to reach out for that. We also have a bio bank housed at Cornell University Veterinary School. So 
biological samples collected from smaller studies. One is called precision and the other is the triad um, clinical trial that we mentioned. Those samples are banked at the Dog Aging Project Biobank. Um, and those samples include you know, blood samples, urine samples, so on and so forth. And the samples are collected um, with a participant that's enrolled in that particular smaller study. They're collected um, in precision with their regular family veterinarian. And it looks a lot like you taking your dog in for an annual exam. They often recommend um, blood work and your analysis as your doctor recommends for you every year, just to make sure all systems are a go. And so we, again, bank that, um, we bank those samples at our biobank. And again, any researcher who wants to use these samples collected by our project can apply for access through the Dog Aging Project. And we take pride in being open and having a, um, you know, we like to share this information for the advancement of science, because that's what it's all about. It's about the longevity of dogs. It's not just about the Dog Aging Project. What can happen in the future? Let's share this information so new hypotheses can be tested and new research tools can become available. That's what it's all about. We are very collaborative. We not only work with our beloved dog owners and their primary care veterinarians, but we work with lots of institutions across the country in these amazing partnerships, experts from diverse disciplines at you know, these top research institutions. And so we've shared what those institutions are for you here. The list is way too long for me to read through, but please check out our website and, and um and you know, if you're curious and see who those partner, partnering institutions are. And moving down here, it's also very important for the Dog Aging Project to build um, a project that is diverse, we are equitable, we are inclusive, and we want everyone to belong. And so we create that inclusive environment in all aspects of our work. It is not only through the team that we work with here behind the scenes, but it's also the diversity of our project participants. And that is in all the areas of diversity that you can imagine, race, ethnicity, where they live in the United States, socioeconomic status, education level. These things really do determine some differences in the life a dog leads. And so we need a diverse population of dogs and dog owners to give us the most broad view at the life and um, health and aging of our dogs. So for our veterinary community, we have a special page here just for them, for the veterinary community to check out and understand how important their contribution and partnership is. So veterinary geroscience, the study of aging in veterinary medicine, so in animals, and while veterinary medicine has many specialty areas in common with human medicine, veterinary geroscience is not as of yet well-defined. The research team at our project aims to define the aging phenotype in companion dogs and develop interventions to help companion dogs stay healthy and vigorous until late in life. And <clears throat> another way that veterinarians in our community can help us um, we will be relying on them to get some information uh, from their uh, clients that are enrolled in the Dog Aging Project. So we, um, we have our participants reach out and ask for their electronic medical records and so many other, you know, they help us in, in many, many facets. Um, our team disseminates our research findings to the broader veterinary community through publications <clears throat> in top veterinary journals and frequent presentations at regional and national conferences. <clears throat> Jocelyn and I just did an amazing conference over the summer, ACVIM in Philadelphia, and we look forward to attending more and sharing our mission with all of the communities. <clears throat> and then for the, veterinary, uh, for the veterinarian that's interested in what they might expect, we do list the ways we might reach out for um, help. Um, for their help with, with our project and specifically with their client that might be enrolled in the project. We also have a robust 
<clears throat> list of frequently asked questions that veterinarians might be curious about. Again, we're gonna mention open data. We're an open data project. We make all the data we collect available for researchers around the world, and we make it very simple for them to apply for this data access through these, um, through these buttons here. And we also share all of our um, recent publications. I hope I didn't, I may have missed that. If I miss the button, I want you all to look out for, um, we're on the Google Scholar. The Dog Aging Project is on the Google Scholar. I believe I'll get to that in our next tab, but all of our research papers are listed and easy to find a click away here on our new website. We're very excited about that. This is important for our participants to know their, their volunteerism really does contribute to pushing this mission forward. It's, it's incredible. We also have fellowship opportunities at Texas A&M and um, at the, the School of Veterinary Medicine and veterinary fellows can apply to be a part of our project. We also encourage the veterinary community to spread the word with their clients that may not have heard about us yet. <clears throat> and we'll um, shortly get to a resource page that makes it very easy for them to download flyers for us. And we appreciate that. <clears throat> our supporters, we have supporters of many, many different kinds. And so we'll go through this very quickly. Um, the Dog Aging Project wouldn't be here today without the individuals and organizations who believe in and share our vision. And we'd like to express our sincere gratitude for those efforts, um, the supporters, the donors. Again, they make it possible. As a reminder, we're not for profit. Um, we are primarily funded through a grant through the National Institute of Aging. We share that information with you here. And then we have additional. Um, granting sources that we are fully transparent about. We share that with you here. We also have vendors that have helped support us in some of our, um, some of the opportunities we've had to speak to the public, some of our meetings, the talks that we give. Um, they also support us in our um, sample collection and um, analyzing that information for us at their labs. And of course, we, we do have opportunities for people, um, participants, the public to donate if they, if they are interested and we, and we appreciate that very much. So moving along to our team, we have a hundred plus members of the team and you can scroll to this tab if you're curious about who makes up this diverse team at the Dog Aging Project? There are a lot of us from a lot of different backgrounds, and that makes our um, ability to contribute and share, again, very diverse. And we find that diversity in education, professionalism, interest, passion, all of that makes up what pushes this forward. So if you're curious, click over to our team and you can meet some of us virtually. We also have a contact page. <clears throat> we wanted to make it very easy for our participants to reach out and ask us questions. So um, we always love to hear from you, answer your questions. We do our very best to get back to you within 24 to 48 business hours. And we love to create an environment of a high touch approach, if you will. <clears throat> you are all very important to us as individuals and we want to reach out to you um, with your questions, comments, um, as quickly as we can. The media can also um, inquire uh, through this page as well. We have a lot of media interest. Um, we also discuss our research um, in the next tab over. We get a little bit more in depth. We love to share our scientific results with you, again, through that blog section. And here is that Dog Aging Project Google Scholar button. That will take you to all of the publications we've had to date. And these, this is a list of some of our recent publications. Again, we love to share that. It is only possible through the information that you share with us. And so we want to give back to you 
so you can understand what a big impact you're making as an individual dog owner. We also discuss that we are open data. We've covered this uh, quite a bit. This particular page goes into more of how we share our information for the good of dog kind in the future. Okay. We also have a careers page. <clears throat> if anyone out there is interested um, in working with the Dog Aging Project, if in, or when rather we have new positions on our team available, <clears throat> we will list those opportunities here on our um, career page. So moving on to media, <clears throat> just a quick overview. The media loves us and we greatly appreciate them because they share our message and get our word out to people who may not have heard about us yet. And so this is just a list of some of the larger publications that we've been in. We also share with you our recent media stories and we get these updated as often as we can. Um, and we enjoy working with the media. They, they, they're behind our mission and are very supportive in sharing our word publicly. So we thank them for that. Finally, I wanted to share our brand new project resources page. This is something that we have been very excited to develop because we do have a lot of interest from not only the veterinary or research community, but from our participants, our dog owners that are PAC members. Many of you reach out and ask how you can spread the message with dog owners, maybe some dog related um, groups that you're in or the doggy daycare, or maybe your veterinarian could use a little bit more information about the dog aging project. We make that possible here through downloadable flyers on a wide array of information. So that is an overview of the first part of our website. I am going to turn it over now to Jocelyn, who is gonna take us through our blogs and our FAQs and probably even a little bit more. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen now and Jocelyn will take over. Oh, there she goes. Hi. Thank you. Thank you, Harmony. So this is our blog. And also a quick shout out to our people watching right now and answering the chat box. I see some of you already on our website. Some of you are on the blog page already. So thank you so much. We're really excited about our redesign. And this is our blog page. So let me go over it really quick. So as you see, we can now, anytime we have a new blog post, there'll be our feature article down here. And then thanks to everyone who comes and reads our blogs, we're gonna have popular articles because of you, this is the section that are our most read articles. So thank you, thank you. And then a really cool, fun little area over here is our filters. So now if you're interested in certain subjects like canine cognition, or you wanna learn about our community science, or the ones that we have also on our main page over here, is our scientific results. You can click on any of these categories and explore more and read more about our scientific discoveries and research design. So it's really, really exciting stuff. And I'm gonna scroll down some more. Here's where you can get more of our recent. We're really good at trying to publish blog posts as they come out. So shout out to Susan and Amber. Again, a lot of it has been in scientific results recently. So. You can read about our publications through our scientific results, or of course, as Harmony went over, our publication page. But as you scroll down, you're gonna see our footer. This footer is throughout our website, doesn't matter what page you're on, but you can sign up for email updates and you can click here if you wanna be notified when you have a blog. Anytime we have a blog update, you can click that. Or if you wanna know about our newsletter, you can click this too. And then you can put your email and you'll be notified for any of these updates, whether you want to learn about the blog, the newsletter, or both. But yes, this footer is on any of the pages you explore. So this is our beautiful brand new blog page. I'm really excited about it. Hopefully you are too. Then we have our FAQ. So our FAQ page also got a fun redesign. Shout out to Chris. So, but everything is still the same now. So we do have three main categories. 
so you can learn more about. You can learn about our dog aging project, the project itself. We have questions about that here. If you're a participant, whether you're a community scientist or a PAC member, these questions are for you. You can click on that, this area right here. And then if you're a veterinarian or a researcher, these common FAQs, frequently asked questions, you can click on here. So I'm gonna click on our participant FAQ. So here you'll see all the different subject matters um, that you can explore. You can see like, and we're constantly updating this page as well. So anytime we re release an activity or something new comes out, like the measurement mobility activity, you can click on these sections and learn more of the common questions that are asked so you can learn more about it. Or you can type it in in our search bar on top if you have a specific question in mind. So you can search through it or you can explore our FAQs. But that is our dog aging project in a nutshell. Our website redesign. I hope you enjoyed today's event. But really quick before I stop sharing my screen is going back to the navigation bar on top right here. Just, I know Harmony went over it, but quick reminder that the portal login, the dog bar click in, plug in are all on top. And the portal and dog park both have different username and password information. Just a quick reminder on that. But that concludes our PAC events today. So thank you again to everyone joining. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Harmony, for giving such a wonderful tour of our today's event. And shout out to Susan and Sally behind the scenes making this event possible. And then thank you to everyone who's live with us today and in the chat box answering questions. We really appreciate you. We appreciate your ongoing participation and support. We couldn't do this without you. And again, you can answer, you can put questions in the chat box or at the dog park. And don't forget to enter in our pack event prize giveaway at the dog park. So head over to the dog park and then you can stay tuned for our next pack event. We will announce it in our next newsletter. And of course, we'll make the announcement through our social media accounts. So speaking of social media, make sure to like and share this video. And you can subscribe if you're not already subscribed to this channel. And yeah, that's it. So thank you again. I'll see you at the dog park. And until next time, bye.